What's up, family? Have you ever had an experience hiring someone else to work with your client? And after they worked with that client, the client's experience was such that they only wanted to work with you after that. Today, I'm gonna teach you what you should know about working with someone else's client. Now, this video is chaptered, so if you wanna skip ahead, you can go to the chapters and skip ahead. But first, I got a story to tell. So when I first started my business, I hired people to help me work. And one occasion I hired someone who was a friend to work with a client for me. So there was one occasion where I was working on two projects and I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I didn't have anyone on my team yet, but I had a friend who was available who wasn't as good of a shooter as I was, but they were really good dealing with people. So I felt like it would be a good fit to have that person work with the client that I couldn't work with. So I was gonna hire them. The client was still gonna pay me. I was just gonna pay them to do the work for me. And specifically, I was gonna pay them to shoot and I was gonna edit. So. I stay at home and I finished doing my work. I was living in Memphis. The work was in Atlanta that my friend had to do for me. The job was completed. They uploaded the footage to me and we had a call. They said everything went well. But then when I checked in with my client, my client had these extra things that they wanted me to make and edit. They had like, several other videos that they wanted to edit. That would have been fine, except for the fact that we didn't have the footage to be able to make all of these videos. They only shot what I asked them to shoot. And so that was a stressful conversation with the client telling them that they couldn't have what my representative told them that they could have. And I ended up just completing the project that we agreed on but the client just kind of had a sour taste in their mouth. Now, should they have had that taste in their mouth? No, but they were given a idea that I told them no to, that I couldn't do. So naturally, I called my friend back and I asked them like, yo, why were you saying anything to them at all? And they said something that was so prolific to me. They said, well, you didn't tell me that I couldn't. I was trying to make them feel more comfortable. So I gave them specific instructions to follow and I'm gonna give you those three things, okay? Here's the framework. So the first rule when you're working with someone else's client is to discuss the project details with the client on site so that they're clear about what needs to happen and that's it. If they talk to you, if they make small talk, talk back, but don't initiate any conversation beyond the scope of what it is you're there to do. If they want you to tell them a little bit about yourself, keep it brief. Don't go into too much detail. You want them to be comfortable, but you also want to refrain from building a relationship with them because the relationship is between them and your friend or the person that hired you. You're just a stand-in. So on another occasion, I had a team member who I gave specific instructions to to give to the client, and that team member gave the client extra. Here's what happened. We were getting, we needed to get testimonials at an event and I gave my team the script to use when they're trying to get people to give testimonials because some people are just hesitant to be on camera. Here's the script. You walk up to the person and you ask them have they give a, given a testimonial today. If they say no, tell them to follow you. Now you're going to look for a person who's not deep in a conversation, they're kind of just standing around, not doing anything, you're gonna grab them. 
and you're not going to say you're not going to ask them if they want to come. You're not going to say anything, but OK, cool. Follow me and walk away. They will follow you. OK, now. So when my team member did this, instead of what I asked them to say, they told them, hey, come on and get a testimonial so you won't have to give one later this week. Well, that's not what I asked. And now you have people thinking if they give one now, they don't have to give it later. And that's not accurate. So that's a simple uh, example of why it's important to discuss exactly what it is you're given to discuss with the client verbatim, word for word. The next part of the framework is deliver, okay? You want to deliver exactly what you're supposed to shoot. If someone says, hey, I want you to go and shoot this client, I want you to make three TikTok reels, here's the examples, and then I want you to record a YouTube video of them and that's it, that's all you need to record. Don't record two extra TikTok reels because you're trying to over deliver. Don't record six YouTube videos because you're trying to over deliver because you don't know the arrangement or the history between the client and the relationship they have with the person that hired you. And so you might leave the client expecting to get more than what they originally agree on with the person that hired you. And now you're creating an environment where they have to have an awkward conversation while you've gotten paid and you're gone about your business. Another thing that you don't want to do is doing things that outshine the person that hired you. You working with someone else's client is not your opportunity to outshine or over deliver or look good. The way that you make that person look good is showing up on time, communicating clearly what the scope of work was, and then delivering professionally, quickly, and succinctly. That's all. Anything beyond that, you need to run by the person that hired you before you continue to do it, which brings me to the last part of our framework, which is defer. When you're working with someone else's client, they're going to have questions. They're going to say, okay, so when are we going to get this? When are we going to get the videos back? Or they'll say, hey, can we shoot some extra stuff over there? The best thing to do is to defer to the person that hired you. So if they ask you to do some extra work, it's perfectly professional for you to check in with the person that hired you about anything that the client asked you about. Hey, I'm just here to do the scope of work. I can text them for you and ask and let you know, hey, are you going to be editing this or is such and such going to be editing this? And it's like, hey, I'll ask them about it. All I know is what I've been asked to do here. So, and that's perfectly okay. It's perfectly professional. So those are the three things that you want to do. You want to discuss what's necessary. You want to deliver on the scope that you were hired for. And you want to defer any questions or additional requests that the client asks you to the person that hired you because that is their client. I hope you found this video helpful and informational. I love y'all. Peace.